Hello, welcome to Math Talk. I'm your host, Brian Heisler, and today we're going to talk about conditional probability. In a previous video, I talked about basic probability. This is just a little bit more advanced. So we're going to look at a scenario and different probabilities within that scenario that involve Skittles. Um, let's say you take a bag of Skittles, you pour them into a cup. There's 20 Skittles. And out of those 20, you have four that are green, three red, six purple, four orange, and three yellow. So, and then they ask you, what are these different probabilities? And the first one's more of a review. So let's get started just to refresh our minds a little bit. And then we'll become a little more advanced as we go on. So the probability of picking a yellow Skittle out of our cup. Well, there's three yellows and there's 20 possible ones. So three out of 20 is the probability for a yellow. For a red or a purple, we have two probabilities, this or that. So we're going to add them up together. Red, there are three out of 20. Plus purple, there are six out of 20. And when you add those together, you get 9 out of 20. So that's the probability for, just to divide them up, the second one. All right, so let's look at some conditional probabilities um, where something happens and then we do something else. We're going to find the probability of picking a green Skittle. We're going to put it back, and then we're going to pick an orange Skittle. We're going to find the probability of that happening. So the green Skittles, there are 4 out of 20. We're doing something and something else, so we're going to multiply together. And um, we're going to pick an orange one. There are four oranges. Multiplying across, you get 16 out of 400, which will actually reduce to 1 over 25. So the key phrase in this is that you're putting it back, the green one. Um, there's a difference between when you do two or more things, if you put them back or leave them out. And we'll see that in the next couple of examples. Um, all right, so the next one. Find the probability that you pick a yellow Skittle, you're going to eat it, and then you're going to pick an orange one. So we're doing one thing and then another. So we're going to multiply probabilities again. Well, like I said earlier, there's three yellows out of 20. And then we're going to pick an orange one. Well, there's four oranges. But the key with this is we ate the yellow Skittle. So it's not there anymore when we go to pick our orange ones. There's no longer 20 Skittles to choose from. There's only 19. So that denominator has to change. The rules still apply though. Multiply across, you get 12 out of 380, which actually reduces to 3 out of 95. The reducing the fractions, I know you can do either in a calculator um, or just through the, the random process of it. Um, so I'm not going to go into that in, in detail. Let's take a look at our last example. This one, you're finding the probability that if you pick three Skittles one at a time, you're not going to replace them, but you want them all to be green. So we're going to do one thing, and then another, and then another. So we're going to multiply three probabilities together. Well, our first pick is going to be a green Skittle. There's four greens, and there are 20 total Skittles in our cup. We're going to keep it out. We're not going to replace it. And we're going to try and pick another green. Well, this time there's only three greens left, and there's only 19 total to choose from. So 3 out of 19. And then we're going to keep that one, and we're going to pick another Skittle, and hopefully it's a green one. So now there's only two greens and only 18 possible Skittles. So we have 2 out of 18 for that third one. Once you find those probabilities, multiply them together, and then you can reduce. Um, 4 times 3 times 2 is 24. 20 times 19 times 18 is 6,840. 
And then you can go ahead and reduce that um, either on a calculator or through the process of reducing fractions ends up that you get 1 out of 285. So it would make sense that if there's only four greens out of 20 possible ones and you want to pick three of them and, they're, and the, all three of them are going to be green, it's not going to happen too often, about one out of every 285 times. So I hope that when you get to these kinds of problems with conditional probability, you really look into what the problem is asking. Are you replacing things? Are you keeping them out? How many are left? Things like that. It's really going to help you when you, develop, when you write down your probabilities and multiply them or add them together. Thanks for joining, and I'll see you again later. Your education will add up when you visit us at GEDS.com. For future tips and videos, be sure to subscribe and follow.